Good morning. Okay, am I here? Can you hear me? You are here. I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, you hang on. Hear. Hang on. Okay. Try it now. Okay. How are okay. you? We're good. Awesome. I'm hungry, so I'm I'm snacking. I'm just not. <laughs> That's okay. Did you get the interfaces by email? I did. Those are really cool. And have you? Do you want to try loading them up? Um, where did I? Okay, I need to figure out where I save them. I think I need to go get my. Um, okay. My <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, green activities. Oh, and they're each showing up. Oh, but they're, are they backwards? Oh, they are because I have to do the green screen. No, they look fine on this end. Okay, they look backwards to me. Activity, okay. These are really cool. Wow. How awesome is that? Okay. You're watching, so I'm not sure if I miss one. Marketing. There's two different marketing ones. Oh, what did I just do? You just loaded a, one of the PDFs. I think you still have stewardship and the communication one. Okay, I have to check the marketing. Oh, you've got two different marketing ones. Three different marketing ones. Yeah, load, load them all up. Okay, so. Let's go through what I've got. Okay. So keep, keep track. So I have that one. Learning. Synergy. They're all backwards to me. When I look at it, it's backwards, but it's not backwards to you? No, when I look at it, it looks fine. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, what's that one? Learning. Oh, so I have two learnings in there. Yeah, one's mission and one jobs. Oh. If you look, are you recognizing the synergy and the flow words? Yeah, but right now I'm looking at it and it's all backwards. So I'm just... <laughs> so that's why, okay, so I'm just getting you, I want you to check to see what I've got. So that's okay. my next one. Creativity, services, marketing. Okay, which ones am I missing? Um, I think stewardship. 3.9, is it? I, I don't think I, did I? Oh, 3.8. I have 3.8 twice. You have a 3.9? Um, 3 3.3, 3 3 3.6, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.0. 3.15788. So strategies, marketing. Okay, so I have marketing 3.8 three different times, like three different yeah. plus. Okay. I don't have nine in. in the you, you don't have nine at all? No. Nope. So if I go through my list, like just the download I'm looking at. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three eighths. I don't have nine. Okay. I'll just, let me take a look. And then I've got the center communication. And, and 
you do have the center one, the communication one? Yeah. Okay, I'll send, I'm going to send it over in Facebook right now. Okay. So what do you think of the look? Give me feedback. Okay, here, just let me add. Communication one. Okay, it's kind of cool. Like I like the way it frames. You've got a little touch of Yorkton in there. Um, communication, the number is good. Um, okay, so it's backwards to me. God damn it. Okay, there might be a little button that says mirror effect. Um, if you go to your Facebook messages, I sent you the uh, stewardship one. Okay. So if I have a green screen, no, that's no good. Mirror. Okay, so now I can I can see it, but can you read it still? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that helps. Okay, so you said you sent me one Facebook. Okay, yeah, I don't have that one. Actually, there's kind of two. Desktop. Come on, save that. Okay. And let's go here, upload that. Oh my God. Okay, let's get out of there. <coughs> Where are you? Okay, so two, oh, there is, oh, there, there's a different one, okay. Oh, that one's nice. Desktop, okay. So there's just the two in in nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just load those in. There you are. Okay. Let's go back. Load that. Switch the background. All right, they won't let me do two at a time. Okay, excellent. Okay. Okay, so you got it. Got it. I may be missing one or two, but I'll go through the list. And... Okay, so do you understand the connection between these interfaces and what we, we have been doing together? It's, yeah, it is getting, yes. Okay, so um, it's a lot bigger picture than, than I imagined. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so it's- Oh wait, before you continue, out of all of those 10, if you had to choose one of them, what would you choose? So my first instinct is to choose it by color. Okay. And so if I had to do that, I'll put it up here. It would either be pink or purple if I did it by color. Okay, so put okay. those on, put those on. Okay, so the synergy, it would be that one. Infrastructure, research. Oh, I've got that in twice, okay. Or it would be one of those. Okay. 
Oh, I've got those the same as well. Okay. Oh. So if you don't do it by color, what would you choose? More, more so in terms of your functions of what you're doing right now. Right. Okay. So it would be. Function. Um, so I, I like I like this energy because um, a lot of times they they do the group kind of comes to me for you know just conversations because you know I listen and I understand there's no judgment. And they kind of come, they do come to me for that. So I like, I like that one. I like okay. playing that part. Um, can you, can you back your computer up just a little bit? Or fr frame your head. Hey, that's it. Now you're in the, put yourself in the, right there in the middle of that. <laughs> up a little bit. Oh, I keep moving. Okay, let's wait. Let me sit back in my chair so I'm not moving. Oh. Okay, now. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Just, I mean, just if we appear <laughs> now, now we have a background. So we're trying to, you know, just frame ourselves. So uh, do you have a light? Do you have a light for your, uh, do you have a light on your desk at all? Um, I don't, but I'm sitting with the window to my back. Okay. Do, do you ever, do you see those round lights that you can get like at Staples? I would suggest to get that because like there's a darkness on your face that, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot nicer when you can really see the person's face. Exactly. And so if we change even just position and move. Yeah. yeah, that's way nicer to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, synergy um, services would be another field that I would fit in. Okay. And another one would be like, is there a design? Let's see. Now, marketing. What do you think of that hub factor background? Um, oh, like with the logo and stuff on the, on the side? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that's fabulous. Yeah, it just kind of, the location is really good because, you know, I read left to right. So you're always looking um, in the top left-hand corner most, most times. And um, yeah, and then right above there, you've got like the the label of, of business field. Let's see what this one is. Okay, do you understand um, the fields map? Like, have you do you understand the, the the business field and the space? No, I'm just actually. It's funny you ask because I'm just looking at that. So the business field, I, I'm not sure where that comes from. Okay. Group space, is that the five, um, the map of five, you have the one-on-one -on -one and then you've got group, is that that map of five? Yes. Okay. Now, have I shown you this map before? Yeah. So this is the, there's six, six meta conversational fields in the conversational deck okay right do, do you have the the combo, combo deck with you yes yeah okay um would you like to pull out find the six meta conversations okay so the six meta conversations can we bring your head back into the screen oh Map 
So they're kind of orange. You can, if you put them right in front of your face, then, then I can see them. Yeah, those ones. So just, yeah, just find those six. Okay, there's six. Okay, so conversational field. Okay. Because there's other orange ones that... Yeah, th those are the... the, the seven those are at the um 3.7 2.7 um okay so when you look at the five communication spaces right right and then you look at those six words you can create a matrix of 30 different space fields if you choose one from each one so i can choose one um conversation cards for each space like no, no like if you if you choose <laughs> i i don't know if it's because i'm so bad at explaining or you're not getting what i'm saying but i i think i got it now so group space i would use these conversations well that's true too that's true too <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you're creating a matrix, right? You're, you're right. bringing two models together. And this is kind of like inflow matrix, information flowing in a matrix. When you okay. bring two models together, you create all the possibilities. So on the one axis, you have the five spaces. And on the other axis, you have the six fields. So you can have a personal space and business field, a one-on-one -on -one space and business field. A group space and business field, oh. sacred space and business field, community space and business field, right? So when you bring them together, there's 30, I call them space fields. Okay. And those are like the, the that's where you get true context. Okay. So, so context is basically the framing of what you're in. And so if you, if you frame like what we're doing here on this interface is just by those two buttons, like in software, you would be choosing those buttons, but because it's not software or this is the, the screen that has been chosen, this is defining that you are in a business field and a group space framing. Okay, okay. So now I, you know, I got to make another set of interfaces for you guys where it's group business field and one on one space. So it's just like here, we're in a one on one space. So it's actually not kind of applying, but you can still have the idea of a group space. You can be one on one in a group space, but the group space is sort of like paramount. Like if you come together as a team, mm -hmm. like a basketball team or, or your team, you come together in one on one but you're still within the context of the business field group space, right? When you're in the hub factor. That's right, yes. It's not well, like you, it's not like you're one-on-one -on -one with Lori and your friends and you're hanging out as one-on-one, -on -one, like an intimate field. Because let's say you guys went to a coffee shop and you said, okay, I want an intimate field friend, friend, one-on-one -on -one space and an intimate field. And you, right. need, and you need a deep sort of friendship conversation that's a different context so you can actually say that or sort of infer, we, we just move between these we infer them right but essentially we, we we don't have a methodology 
to really distinguish, okay, here's where friends one-on-one, but when we go back in the visionary hub, we're in a group space and it's a business field. Right. Right. So what this is, it's a meta framing for context and, and like, like now we're in a zoom call and it's like, we're one-on-one -on -one here, but I'm essentially coaching you in the business group space, right? I'm here to help the team create what the team is going to create, yeah. but I'm doing individual one-on-one -on -one coaching. So you can actually, like when you fractal it, like if we go into the group space mm -hmm. and now we're in a one-on-one -on -one space, that's, that's that's very different than us going into the the one on one space first. Okay. Because there that's, isn't there there isn't a larger context of the group space that's sort of containing you. So it's it's like looking at like what the internet is going to do or what these these interfaces are doing is they're going to be framing the context of the conversations very exactly now, utilizing. You know the combination of this conceptual inflow matrix thinking system as all the possibilities but then getting very distinct here where we're going okay we're in the learning you know um, section or function or part of the business and you're from your point of view you're coming from the learning point of view mm -hmm. which is focused on the jobs so if you chose this frame to speak with someone you can you might change and go, wow, I'm not really looking from the point of view of jobs. I'm looking from the point of view of the products. So you can change your interface to match how you feel your, your being in terms of your perspective. Or let's say it's your job, because right now you guys have, you're moving between a lot of them, right? Like there isn't like, you do, like you're probably all doing marketing at some point. You're probably all doing some teaching at some point. You're all doing some communicating. So there isn't this exact, okay, this is my frame. This is what I'm doing, which at some point it may become, but maybe not. Like, we don't know. This is a kind of a new way of doing this, right? Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, I, I get. So, just let me um, verbalize that to see if I have the right understanding. Okay. So, we are virtually say if it's um, all four of us, we are in a group space and we would use these um, conversation fields and maybe even select, okay, so we need to talk about, um, say our services. And we would do that in a group. Okay, well, <laughs> you, you, you picked, well, you picked the one word that actually is the same as 3.7 services on the synergy wheel. <laughs> Do you okay. understand? So oh, yeah. yeah, well, uh, yeah, there's a remedy card in there. Okay, so that's re which one which one are you showing to me? <laughs> um no, I did I did pick the services, but it says primary conversation field. Okay, so that that is actually uh, that's one of the meta conversations, right? So that's different from services, which is one of the functions on the wheel, on the flow wheel. I mean, I mean, on the synergy wheel. Right. Okay. All right. So, um, so what what I'm visually seeing or and hearing, I think, okay, is okay. We've got the group space, and we would maybe have these cards spread out and then we would we could select say services or maybe it would be a business conversation so um and then we could do that as a group but yet so in that group conversation we may decide that okay so it would be Kaylee and I that would go into Oh, we don't have it. So we we could shoot off into say a marketing conversation. And for marketing, we could also use these cards. Am I am I right? Yeah, I mean, yes. 
I mean, the thing about the cards and multidimensionality is you can kind of move them around and put them anywhere and kind of like the, the big idea is they don't get stuck somewhere. You can actually re-level them and reconnect them. And and what you're looking for is just kind of some a logical stream, a logical methodology. You, you, you look like someone in grade five who just had her big crayon box taken away from the teacher. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm putting more into what you're what you're telling me. So I'm I'm making it more difficult myself or making it more. So well, okay, let me just try to maybe simplify. Okay, so what you have here is is a interface where we have chosen the business field as from one of those six possibilities, right? And then, we, and then we've chosen from the group space one of those five possibilities, right? So each one of those, you have the option of those. You could switch them, right? The whole thing is when you see one piece of a model, you can start to use it as a list to change the, the model. Like you could immediately go, okay, well, this could be a one-on-one one -on -one space. This could be a community space. This could be like in your mind, you have the models. So, so, so when you see one example of it, this means there's actually 30 other examples, like 29 other examples that this frame could be. It could be a social field in a one-on-one -on -one space. It could be a friendship field in a community space. Right? Right. So when we're talking software interfaces and we're looking at sort of buttons, the buttons that are chosen are the is is what was chosen out of a possibility of 30 choices but we don't have the software right so i'm just building them one at a time yeah. but but what it is is it's training the mind to think that way. in in seeing that okay this is just one of 30 possibilities this is the choice so what that does is it's giving the mind your position in that framework so you so you're automatically thinking at a meta level above in terms of structuring information. Okay. Um, right. And so if if we're picking say intimate in um, say like group space, then we also have the understanding that. In that group space, we can have any of these conversations. Okay, no. Um, okay, so I understand that these conversations cards can be a part of group, personal, community, um, community and one on one. Yeah. And they will provide the context to having a conversation in whatever field we choose. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that, and so what we need to really focus on is when we do, when we sit down and have a discussion, whether in a group or whichever, we need to come to an understanding that this is the, the process and we, we need to put this in place. So like yesterday we had a, a group um, conversation. We should have even just acknowledged, okay, we're in group space and we are talking about um, services. Again, well, no, no, no. You're 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 making that same you're making that same thing of services and service field is different. The services is at your synergy wheel, and it's what you are doing for your client. The meta that what the card you just showed me means you're coming together to do some sort of volunteer or like it's it's like a business field, but no one's getting paid. So that's the big distinction. Like what we're doing with these meta conversations is like the 72 conversation types are, are detail. 
they're they are actually more of they're all like in the business field they, they can be used in the other fields but it's more specific to the business field because that's the main sort of uh area that we want to influence that's how you know our society works right our society works through commerce okay so, so these six conversation types are like the most abstract they're like if you go to 2.6 relationships on your flow map yeah, okay it breaks down there's a few different models that i've shown you right like i i've shown you the uh the way the way that things can break down there's all these different ways a relationship can break down so if you notice that each of these has six right. so at 2.6 relationships all the models have six parts right so in the inflow matrix when you're going through the numbers at 2.5 all the models have five parts at 2.4 all the models have four parts. At 2.3, all the models have three parts. This is something in the inflow matrix that's uniquely different. And that's why like the Enneagram at nine, it has nine parts. So right. sac sacred geometry is basically the number of parts. Like if you look at the map behind you in, in the screen, uh, there's six, right, on the base. The screen right behind you. If you move your head out of the way, right. the person standing and there's six spots, right? Okay, like one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. Okay. So that creates the shape, that creates the form, that creates the relationship <clears throat> between the parts. So the idea is, and this is more from a, uh, uh, Gurdjieff and John Bennett, in terms of what they call systematics, was that there's something like a, a two-ness, a three-ness, a four-ness, a five-ness, a six-ness, a seven-ness, an eight-ness, a nine-ness. And that dictates the kind of models that occur because of the number. So in a lot of magical things, they have pentads, they have the five, mm -hmm. and they do all their magical incantations on fives. And then within the First Nations traditions, they 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 like the four directions. And then they have maps of eight where they have the eight directions. And you know, there's a reason it's eight and not seven. And so that has those properties when the mind organizes by it. To me, the assumption is that we're more in alignment with natural law. It's like in the map you see behind us, we have this Taurus field, we have these seven chakra centers. And so we have these energy fields that have a certain number to them. And those energy fields, like supposedly there's seven planes of existence. So there's kind of like a correspondence between the chakras, each chakra to each plane of existence. Yeah. So when, when numbers line up, there's like a correspondence between them. And it's kind of like if you have the five elements, so we have creativity in five, right. which is at the bottom of that, at this sort of like most abstract level are almost like the five elements. So when you so when you align, like it's like when we're creating five creative outputs, and you let's say use fire, earth, air, water, and metal or uh, ether as your background, you then you can sort of go, oh, here's my water element output, here's my air element output. You know, and dancing may be air and maybe emotional connections could be water kind of thing. So it's like, how do we create balance in our life? We have to sort of connect our different pieces to the larger pieces of the universe that come through at every level. And so our mind is not generally organized that way. But if you look at any spiritual tradition, like the medicine wheel or the Kabbalah or any of the other go deeper into a religion, they, they are organized by numbers. You know, yeah. They have the seven paths or they have the, the eight, eight paths or they have, you know, whatever it is at some point, there's a philosophy or doctrine that's connected to number about uh, virtues or anything that is kind of like related to your progress as a human being. 
And so we're, we're doing the same thing, but we're bringing it into business language. Okay. And so you, you have those six parts, those six relationship fields. And it's like when you're talking with your daughter, mm -hmm. it's, it's very different than if you're in a mall talking to some acquaintance, right? I mean, that's just natural. But what we're doing is we're codifying the differences. So we create the boundaries to understand that if I'm talking to a friend, it's very different from talking business with that person. Absolutely, yeah. Right? So this is, and what I find is a lot of people, they may want to do business with friends or they may want to bring friends into their business. But as soon as you go into the business realm, it's a lot more serious, right? People, people expect you to honor your agreements. People expect you to show up. People, you know, there's less slack. Yeah, yeah. Now there's commerce taking place. So what this is doing is just, it, you know, especially for kids at some point, they have to learn this. They have to find out, oh, okay, now I'm in the business world. And now because I'm in the business world, I got to be whatever it is, right? Yeah. So this takes us back to the framing that you're in. So again, these are things that like are not done. This is not done anywhere. We, do, we don't frame our conversations at all. No, that's right. Right. <laughs> you, yeah. you don't even know what you're going into. And, you know, the, the master communicators can take someone from where they are move them along somewhere, know they're doing it, and then take them somewhere to a place, you know, consciously or unconsciously. But what we're doing is we're going, no, we're going to consciously move from place to place and teach people how to move from place to place. So what this frame is, is, is leaving that unframed conversation into a very framed conversation where you're gonna, if you're in a Zoom call with a potential client, you might have, you know, what we're gonna do is set up you in an ideal job of going, okay, well, here's my movement. And so right now, what I'd like you to do is um, to go through the conversation cards and choose seven of them that you feel that if you, could master them or the, the ones you love the most, the ones you love doing the most, the ones that you think you're the most gifted at, pull them out and then tell me what they are. Okay. And how many again? Seven. Seven. Oh wow, that's gonna take. So this is a this is a major, major piece of the puzzle of what we what we're leading up to. This is an exciting part. I've got music playing in in there or in the main office and it was just blaring because I was the only one in the office. So I just had to turn that down. Okay. Oh, those are the conversation killers. <laughs> you can take some from there too if you want. Huh? Oh, here's Okay, some. I just got so, um, all right. So I went and selected, I don't know, 25, 30 cards, whatever, that okay. kind of resonated. And then I divided them into seven different piles, face down, and then just flipped the top, the top card. Okay. 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 <laughs> so um, one was team follow-up, which to make Follow up contact with a prospect with more than one person. Okay. Okay. And I was just doing that um, last weekend. So that totally fit. Um, mediating to assist people who have a dispute to come to terms that works for all. Okay. Okay. Clearing to clear the field of any tension, resentment, or misunderstanding. Okay. Okay. Preparation to get everyone ready to deliver the best possible service. Okay. Reflection to reflect on an experience and interpret the meaning of it. Okay. Enrollment to enroll someone's interest into an idea such as they are an active participant. 
Okay. Okay. And the last one is connectedness. To find out how to interconnect parts of a system into a whole. Okay. Exciting. What do you think of those? Um, yes, they all work. So connecting, um, that, I mean, can fit in many different ways. It's people connecting. It's connecting to technology. Um, it's connecting, you know, designs and making sure all the designs are the same on lots of different platforms. So that, that's different. That, that works for me. Okay. In French, um, that's kind of what I'm doing right now is making sure anybody that they attends a hump factor or, you know, attends any kind of training is enrolled, say, in a CRM or, in, you know, has that sort of um, contact. Okay. Reflection. Um, it's usually not... I see the importance of this after every, say, hub factor or after every event that we sit back and say, okay, what worked, what didn't work, and things like that. So reflection is really good, even in conversations or, you know, in participating in, in events, um, just reflecting on, you know, say, Lori was on... Uh, a course or attended an event, you know, I, it would be good to check in with her to say, okay, what worked, like what flowed really well in that event you, you attended and what didn't and things like that. So just reflecting on lots of different things. Okay. Preparation, get everyone ready to deliver the best possible service, making sure we're all on the same page and all have the same type of goal. And then, um, you know, if you have a task, are you prepared? Is it ready to go and things like that? Clearing to clear any field of tension, resentment, or misunderstanding. So I feel that is really important. And I can kind of help clear that tension a bit or start the process of clearing. Mediate, mediating um, to assist people who have a dispute to come to terms that work for all. So, um, yeah, you know, getting, <laughs> triggering out a, a solution. And team follow up. So, again, that's kind of um, yeah, I guess I was thinking it works that reflection, but no, team follow up. So, um, to, oh, to make follow-up contact with a prospect with more than one person. Oh, okay. So team follow-up, when I read that definition, it's about, um, you know, hey, Carrie, did you follow up with that person? Did you, you know, do this? Um, just so we're all on the same page and um, we're doing what we said we would do as a team. Okay. Okay, now uh, write down uh, the, the seven steps of the pulse process. Okay, write down the seven steps of the pulse process. Of the pulse process, start, set up, build up, crescendo. Oh, okay. Shoot, and I just took those papers with me. I would have to go um, look at my sheet, so let's see. I can give it to you. Can you? Okay. One, one is the start. Okay, so do you want me to like list them, say, across the page, or should I list? Probably left column. Okay. Okay, so one is startup. So one is start. Mm -hmm. so two is setup. Three is build up. Four is crescendo. 
Five is ease out. <clears throat> Six is connect and unify. Seven is finish. Now of those seven, what do you think is the uh, crescendo? Or what would you want to be the crescendo? Oh, of the cards that I selected? Yeah. Um, Probably the enrollment would be um, the crescendo, right? I mean, whether we have two or ten or whatever, I think that that would be the the top the top thing. The enrollment. I'm thinking so because. Um, we would do all the preparation, connecting, the build up, and all of that. And because oh. of because of the cards, um, like it's not um, actually doing the workshop. It would be the enrollment, and then ease out would be like team follow up, um, connect and uni unify. Oh, yeah, it might be. Ease out would be. Hmm, okay, so maybe clearing. And then. Oh, no, it'd probably be. Oh, when it, when it said. When I see team follow up, I'm thinking it's our team, but it could be a follow up with the people say, that have enrolled. So it could be that team. So it could be team follow up, and then it could be reflection and connect and unify, and finish would be. Finish would probably be reflection. Anyway, yeah, I, I think I'm thinking enrollment. Okay, enrollment. Okay, now give me uh, what's the start? Um, preparation. Setup. Would be the connecting. Uh, would it? Up to you. Hmm, yeah. Building would be the connecting and setup may be the clearing, so make sure it's um either clearing or mediating. Probably mediating, I'm putting there. Build okay. up will be connecting. Build up is, wait. Connecting. Build up's connecting. Yeah. What's set up? Set up is mediating. Okay. Consendo, consendo is enrollment. Is out. My guess would be clearing, which would make sense. Connect and unify will be team follow up. And finish is reflection. Meeting, meeting, 
So what do you think about that? Um, yeah, like I, the mediating, um, I just need to look at that again to assist people who have a dispute to come to terms that works for all. So, um, you know, if, it, if that's placed in set up, so it would be to, you know, everybody maybe has a whole different idea. So kind of mediate on what the best, you know, terms or best look, you know, what the setup would look like best. Because it's not about them, it's, you know, about the participants or whoever. The Conspendo is good, ease out is clearing. So after, say, a session or workshop is done, um, yeah, it's ease out. So people are clearing and, um, Clear the field of any tension, resentment, or misunderstanding. So, you know, before people leave, make sure they are clear and there's no hard feelings and things like that. So, yeah, I like that. Connect and unity, team follow up, um, whether it's internal team or the, the, the clients that have left a workshop, just, you know, follow up and prospect with more than one person. So what does that follow up look like for people that have attended an event and finish? So reflection, I see it in both ways. Reflection would be getting some testimonials. And again, that for the client, for us as a business, it would be, okay, reflect on that whole, the whole process of you know, set up and start, build up, and all of that. So I really okay. like reflection at the end. Okay. Um, now you're using events at the hub factor as the reference point for this, right? Yes. Okay. Now look at this as a standalone process. What is the reference point for what, what are you bringing people through? Okay, so as say as as me, like as yeah, what like let's say what you're doing is let's say you're taking them through a series of seven one-hour courses, on right. them, and each okay. each one you're do, you're in a different convo with them. What is the reference? What are you taking them through? Okay, so we are working on the mastermind group, and mine is going to be. Um, you know, creating balance and stuff in, in your life. So um, preparation startup would be and we kind of we kind of did this the other day. So the startup to the preparation is to find out get the clients to understand say where they're where they're coming from and where they want to go. Okay, so preparation that way, what that looks like, say in a workbook or something like that. I still need to figure that out. And then the setup would be mediating, so um, giving them some steps to create some balance, say in their life. And then there's, you know, build up would be connecting, so. Um, so like I would, okay, so it could be, um, connecting, I would probably have, you know, like maybe a, a book or some sort of reference that everybody has and can connect to. And then, um, Crescendo is enrollment. I don't, enrollment. Oh, okay. I think I'm going too far. Or I went into just like I went to a different different thing. So okay, so if we're having a mastermind, the preparation setup, what does that look like? What are the steps needed? Um, setup is making sure that all the tools are available, all the technology is in working order and 
and um, good to go. Build up is like you know, the marketing and connecting to different people and getting enrollment that way. Ease out is, you know, almost have some, what once we've done the program, what happens to us? So make sure that ease out is a good skill and we keep the connection and unity by following up with each client. And then, you know, sit and, and reflect. So after the mastermind group, um, you know, how, how do we connect with the people, say, in the mastermind group and reflect, so grab, you know, some testimonials and things like that from, from them in, in that group. That's kind of, yeah, I want to do it that way instead of the whole group. So setting up the mastermind group, um, startup preparation, what does it look like? Um, the setup is mediating, um, making sure just these people have a dispute. So, um, okay, that one, I don't know really how that fits in there, but build up is connecting and then enrollment, ease out, yeah, team follow-up, how does the follow-up look like, and then grab some testimonials. So. so your reference point is creating a mastermind team? Is that what I'm yeah. hearing? Yeah, a mastermind group. A mastermind group that you're facilitating. Right, and so that's kind of our individual goals. We're all doing um, a mastermind group. Okay, excellent. And so, you know, like, we're, we're, we're thinking $80 per person. And then if we have 10 people in that group, that'll be a start. Okay. Um, and how long does the mastermind go, group go for? Um, four weeks. Four weeks. Okay. So, okay. There's something a bit different I'm thinking in terms of there's the, like that's the group space of getting a mastermind right. going. And then there's the one-on-one -on -one space of coaching. Now, do you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with people? Um, uh, it depends. I'm not sure if I'm there yet. So it, it depends maybe on, on the person. On the person? Yeah, um, I'm just, uh, I'm not sure just even what that would even look like. So Have you ever done one-on-one -on -one coaching? No. Do you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching? Um, not particularly, but um, you know, maybe once I have more, um, more experience, more, more self-confidence, more whatever, I'm just doing one step at a time. Okay. Right. Okay. And it's, I'm just, would you feel confident, let's say doing a flow wheel values map with somebody? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. one on one. If you sat down with someone or in Zoom, you could take them through the process of creating a flow wheel? I, I would have to do it a few times ahead of time. But yes, I, like something like that I would do. Because um, the, the idea about the maps is that whatever I do with you, the idea is that then you can do it with whoever you want, right? There's a lot of leverage in that, in that if I give you one map and then you can use that map for the rest of your life doing flow wheel maps with people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's very specific. It isn't like some, it's a very specific outcome. One thing, yes. Yeah. And so, and if you're using your flow wheel map and you like it, like the, the essential thing is that each of these maps or parts is, you know, you, you start to use them, right? If you like the trust map, use the trust map. If you mm -hmm. use the flow meal, flow map, you can use the flow map. And then you're, you have clients either in groups or individual form, and then you're passing on the maps. Yeah. 
And if you're, at least what you're telling me from a, let's say, coaching point of view, you're not ready for that, but you need practice. Yeah. Right? right. So, so if I gave you an assignment to, let's say, do five communication spaces maps with five people, right. would you do that? Um, yeah, but I don't know what that would totally look like. I'm not sure if I know that what that's what we just did, right? Well, no, we didn't just do that, but we have done the communication space, like the five spaces, like the um, I think that was one of the first things we did, right? Okay, well, let's see. This map. So the main thing is they write down their five values and then they put them on the turn pieces of paper, turn them over, and then they turn it over. Voila, you got a map. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to do that with five people? Um, yeah, probably. I would shoot me a, um, a YouTube on that just as a researcher. Okay. 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 I'm going out camping this weekend and I'm going, why not? Okay. Okay, so I want to leave you with something here. Okay. In terms of your homework. <clears throat> and that's, um, I want you to look at that, those seven, the seven steps from two points of view, from creating a mastermind group, and then a, a process for one and -on one that's on its own. Okay, and one on one. And then to then to either choose a value for each one. Oh. Okay. See see them as separate things, and then you're going to do a, a value and a choice lens for each one. Okay, so value and choice. And so you can, I might suggest you take values from your flow map okay. and then place them on these convo types. Okay, that's an awesome idea. And then do it again, one for the mastermind group and one for, okay, the mastermind group has a, has a very specific, um, it's easy to keep in mind Okay, we're doing a mastermind so I can adapt this to that, right? right. The one-on-one -on -one thing, this is what I'm, let's say, suggesting or offering for you in that you're looking at, you're going to take the client, each Zoom call is one of those conversations mm -hmm. and, that you, and that you are creating and we'll have like, we'll, we'll make the framing for you too. Mm -hmm. So the client knows and you know, this is exactly, we're going through this process. And that to come up with, to brainstorm, to think it out and go, if I was going to take someone through a process and I was going to use these conversation types and you can, if one of the conversation types is not working, you can change, you can change it, right? Like this is just, we just did it. Like you're tweaking it. You're trying to find the process where you go, oh, I would love to take people through this process. I would love, you know. Here we do this, here we do this, here we do this. Now you can use any of the tools which I put forward to you, like in the, the, the beginning may be, hey, we look at trust, look at the issue of trust, like that's the first thing. So you can or not, you can use some of them, all of them or none of them. What you're doing is you wanna choose like the most funnest, exciting, the greatest thing at each step of the way. Like what you wanna do is each step of the way, you are giving tremendous value you are giving the, the best thing that you could to yeah. that person or group because mm -hmm. the thing is you can have it in reference to like you, you're going to be setting up multiple processes once you really get this right so one process is going to be bringing people into your mastermind right another process is like you one-on-one -on -one, and another process is you with a group 
and you if you want you could do you the community space it depends again you're you're you are choosing you know exactly what you want and and sometimes that can be overwhelming because there's so many options like do we start with meditation do we bring a book in like what, what what is it but but what i would suggest is like really reflect on your life reflect on your life lessons reflect on the things that you know in your heart to be true okay and you know what do you want to teach what knowledge do you want to share and what and what tools have worked for you and then you're looking at each hour we're going to break it down. But first, we're going to start out with the, with the larger sort of idea. What exactly do you want? Like you're starting them here and you're bringing them here. And this could just be one piece that like there might be four processes, right? They sign up for the full meal deal. They have a process with you, a process with Lori, process with Carrie, process with Christy and whoever else is involved. Right. Right. So you're yeah. using the same structure, but you can custom design it completely. And then at some point, you're going to help other people to do the same thing if you want, right? Okay. 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 So um, I am so, going to use... Okay. So creating the mastermind group and the one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to choose a value for, say, the mastermind group using my flow map values. And then I'm going to choose values for the one on one. Yeah, values for each combo type, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then um, just, yeah, kind of do some reflection and, you know, tools and just what things kind of look like so for next the next session we have mm -hmm. break it down as as well as you can with that instruction and you can again <clears throat> send me messages in facebook if you don't quite get it or you're you're stumped or something um this is this is like i think could be the crescendo of what we're really working on here is this is the focus point for you to really define your ideal job mm. through this process Okay. Okay. Is, it, is that too much or is that within your scope, you think? No, that no, that's not very much. That that's good. Yeah. No, okay. that's not, it's not huge. Okay. That's exciting. Um, put the challenge out there. Let's do it. Yeah. No, I, I'm excited to see what you come up with. And again, this is this is a ground groundbreaking work, right? Like you're a pioneer here. <laughs> so much kudos to you. Right, okay. No, but you are like this is this is accumulation of at least for me 25 years of work to get to this point you know like it's it's huge yeah exactly. i'm very, very grateful for you to be here absolutely well thank you for taking the time and the patience oh my gosh <laughs> well it's this is new stuff right this is new stuff yeah it is so we're at three o'clock today yeah. just yeah. um Lori and you and i yeah um, I don't think Kaylee's going to be there. Okay. Uh, and then do you have Lori today? Or did you do that? Uh, no, I did Lori earlier in the week, so. Okay. Okay, great. So I look forward to seeing you then. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Sylvia. -bye. Bye,